Hey guys, welcome to this video. Today we're going to do the maximum subarray problem on lead code. This is problem number 53. The difficulty is easy. And uh, this is the prompt that we're given. Given an array, nums, find the contiguous subarray containing at least one number which has the highest sum and return its sum. So basically, uh, so we're given this array here. We're supposed to iter go through it one by one and return the maximum um, contiguous amount. So in this example, we can just run through it. So is it this amount? It's not. Is it this amount? Not really. It could be four, but uh, maybe. So I think it is, is it four. Four minus one plus two plus one is apparently the largest sum. So this is the largest sum. It's six. So basically, just just to go through each each uh, step here one by one and see uh, which one has the highest sum. So we'll just go through it one by one. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna try a brute force error, uh, just, not, not brute force error, brute force solution, just so we can have something to show. So let's try to brute force. So I'm gonna store a value called maximum sum. I'm gonna set this to, I guess, float um, negative infinity. Uh, just, just because any number greater than this, we'll set it to max sum. And then we'll have a current sum as well. Current sum is equal to float, uh, also negative infinity. All right, so basically what we'll do is we'll update the current sum whether when the current sum is higher, I guess, and we'll just keep adding plus one. All right, so for i in range, um, length of nums. First thing we want to do is we want to set the current sum to uh, to num whatever that nums is. So current sum is equal to uh, nums of i. This is because every time we loop through, we want to set that as a new current sum. And then we kind of want to check if this current sum is higher than the max sum, and then set the value. So if uh, current sum is greater than the max sum. Uh, max sum is equal to current sum, and then what we want to do as well is we kind of want to uh, we want to return max sum, but we're not done yet because we got to iterate through it one more time. So for j in range i plus one uh, length of nums, and I'm going to pass for now because I want to remove the spaces over here. Um, so in here we're going to just basically do current sum plus is equal to one current sum plus is equal to uh i mean not plus one whatever the number is whatever j is if and then we want to just uh, copy this statement here that we have previously move that over and then we will just run it so we'll run and then that works and then we'll submit this and we should get a timeout error here I was just testing some things out and then I got like some incorrect things. But uh, we expect to get a timeout error for this one and we should get a timeout error. So if, if we get a timeout error, it means our code works. So this code does work. It's just gonna take a really long time. And uh, you, what you guys wanna know the solution? The solution is uh, this one here. There's actually an entire Wikipedia page just for this problem. Apparently, like researchers took like lots of years and stuff to to solve it. So this guy, like when when this problem when was this problem first conceived? Uh, I don't know when this was first conceived, but somebody asked the problem. Where's the origin? Where's like the history of this? There's some, there's some history somewhere that I remember. Um, not sure, but uh, in. So let's see, I'm just reading through this thing real quick. In 1982, I'm sure there was like a, there's some other year before this, but there was a 1982, this guy obtained ON time algorithm applying distress strategy. And uh, when did uh, when did the guy come out with it? Kadane. Kadane, all right, uh, Kadane's algorithm. Soon after Kadane, blah, 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 with one minute an O in time algorithm. All right, so here, okay, so the 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 question first came up in 1977, so that's when the first question first came up, and then this researcher here spent like lots of years. Um, well, apparently he did overnight. 
when Michael Shamos heard about the problem, he overnight devised an O and log divide and conquer algorithm for it. And then he gave a presentation, a seminar for that one, for that solution. And then there's some guy called Jay Cadane that was attending the seminar. And then he was within one minute, within one minute, he designed an O and algorithm. So in like the lecture, after he heard this guy talking about it, he heard about the solution. This guy just came up with like Cadane's algorithm just like that. And he has his own uh, Wikipedia page here. Uh, that's pretty much what he's known for, just Cadane's algorithm. It's a really fascinating story how this dude came up with a solution in one night and then Cadane was like, oh, here's here's an instant solution. And uh, this is actually the code right here. So we can, I think we can literally just copy and paste this and it's going to work, but um, we're not going to do that. So we're... This is this is really like once you learn about it, it just becomes like oh that that was pretty obvious, and uh, so yeah. But anyway, um, so now we'll go through this thing and uh, we'll just uh, solve it. So now now we know that this solution doesn't work at the moment. So I'm gonna actually I don't think we need to delete all that. Yeah, I think we just need to delete this part right here. Yeah, this this part right there. Wow, this is we just need to add one line. We just need to delete that and then update this one line here. So we just need to add a max statement. So current sum is equal to the current is equal to uh, nums i or current sum plus nums i, and that's it. And uh, this should be our solution. If the current sum is greater than max sum, max sum is greater than the is equal to the current sum. Return max sum. So this should work, I believe. Let's go ahead and run this and see if it works. And yeah, that works. So let's submit this and see if that works. And that did work. Okay, so you guys saw that we just did that really quickly. And there you go. That is Cadane's algorithm. Um, that was really quick, right? It's kind of weird. All we did was remove that this extra line here and then update one line. And then that's the solution. Wow, so we had most of it already written down. It's just like one thing that wasn't there. Let me see if ours is better than this. So I'm gonna copy and paste this one here. I just wanna see if this one is actually any better than ours. Uh, let's paste that. Whoops. Okay, so this is one, two, three, four, five, six lines. This one is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven lines. Oh, okay, so you can even you can shorten this by removing this entire statement as well. You can just do uh, max sum is equal to cur is equal to max of uh, current sum or max sum. There you go. We just save one extra line. We just save that entire if statement. So now we can delete this part. Um, I don't know if that's going to improve our speed though. It might make it slower because maybe the if statement is faster to do than that max statement, but I don't know. So this this one's 84 milliseconds. The other one was 76. And I don't I don't know if like this is like the best case, worst case. Like the the way these things are done, the way the the submissions are done on uh, leak code, it's just it can vary. Like the same submission can can go from like five percent greater than five percent to ninety five percent. So this number here, right? So uh, you you can go from like 60% you can go from like 90% to like 5% in the same exact code submission so it's not very reliable to look at that and so here we got 68 milliseconds with the old code that we wrote with the if statement so maybe this is slightly better than doing the max statement and if so it might just be better to add another if statement right before this one okay so we can't submit that again Okay, so I think ours is slightly faster. I don't know if it is, but we got really slow times. Uh, this, these three are the, I think the time. Oh no, these two are the times that we got from Kidane, from the one on this website. So I think it's slightly slower than ours. So I'm just going to stick with this one. But if you do want shorter code, then uh, this this is the better solution. Max sum is equal to max of current sum and max sum. So I think this is easier to write. This is much quicker to write. I don't know. I think it's a little bit slower because you're comparing the two numbers. So it's 72 and the other one 
This one's going to be 88. So I'm just getting three, an average of 3 because we got 72, 88, 68 last time. So if it can beat 68, that means this one is superior. I don't think it's going to beat 68 milliseconds, though. That's pretty much exceptional. 64, okay, so this, so uh, we did three tests, and you guys saw the range. It was like 50% to like 85%. Like, you varied in the same exact code submission. So, uh, yeah, so I guess this one is faster, but... I guess you can do either one. This one is shorter to write, so I think it is faster. So you can see there, you went from 85, 85% to like 5%. So I just I just told you guys you can go from 5% to 90% or something. It just went from 85 to 5%. So you guys can see the same exact code can can vary drastically. Just the same same exact code. So anyway, uh, that's pretty much the entire video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, we're going to go through some more problems. Uh, if you like the video, put a like. If you dislike the video, put a dislike. Post a comment if you have any comments or questions or anything. And subscribe if you want to see more videos. Thank you guys for watching.